how to end your stress today. No stress makes your life the best. That's a fact. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you some simple tips that you can use at home for completely free that you can end your stress today. As I said, for completely free. All you have to do is follow along, watch to the end so that you get every single tip because the last one is the most important and my favorite. And before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post. But other than that, let's end your stress right here, right now now so end stress technique number one is laughter now you may be looking at me going max stop being stupid of course laughter makes you happier you're laughing when you're laughing you're happy when you're happy you're laughing but right now i'm stressed and i can't laugh i get it but studies show that laughter the reason it works so well is you're actually increasing your oxygen intake so your body is literally more oxygenated so this is where breathing techniques do come into play but your body's more oxygenated when you're laughing going <laughs> you're literally you just begin to do it and have you ever had those times where you are just completely out of breath with uh from laughing with with a friend or with a family member where you just can't stop laughing and you are literally hurting at the stomach and this brings me on to a point with laughter of a guy named norman cousins this is one of my favorite stories he laughed himself to health he was told to get his affairs in order because he was going to die. The doctor said, that's it, you're going to die. That's it. And Norman Cousins has a disease called ankylosing spondylitis. Now, what he found out from his discovery, and he was a very incredibly intelligent man, but what he found out from his discovery was the disease and also all the medicine and the stuff that they were giving him to try and prevent this disease was causing him a lack in deficiency of uh, vitamin C. And Norman took three simple steps. Now... Don't get me wrong, I'm not telling you to take these steps word by word. But what he did was, step number one, he fired his doctor. He didn't believe it. Step number two, after doing his research, he started injecting loads of vitamin C. And step number three, he went and bought a projector. And back in those days, it was very hard to get yourself uh, your hands on a projector and just bundles and bundles and bundles of funny films. Now, he got to the point of his stomach hurting with laughter and he would, and that's where he would get to with the laughter specifically. So not only was he injecting the vitamin C, he was focusing on the laughter and was changing his focus. Now, he didn't die until 1990, which was 26, yes, 26 years later after he was told he had a few months to live. Now, coincidence? I think not. And there's been many other studies done this in regards to people going in to watch something that is very bland and boring, how they come out and how they feel. And um, this was done with diabetes and also um, someone who, uh, or a group of people who have gone to see some, something that is amusing, funny, that is stand up. And they come out with a lower blood level sugar. I believe it was that. Now I can't remember the exact study and I'm not gonna go into it too much because I couldn't give you the exact study that it was. But laughter on its own does cure. And, and like they say, laughter is, a, is the best medicine. Now. As I'm saying, do not necessarily fire your doctor. <laughs> That's not what I'm telling you to do. But what I'm giving you is inspiration to read up on Norman Cousins and really listen to how he changed his life to end that stress because laughter is a great piece of medicine, a great bit of medicine, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to get a little bit childish here. Sex. And in itself, intimacy and sex is um, going to boost your mood and it's actually a good workout to get you um, feeling better. Now, the big issue here is when you feel stressed, you don't necessarily feel in the mood. So how can we find ways to overcome that? That's what we need to understand. Get yourself laughing and have some good sex. But all seriousness, if you don't have the ability to do that, then find something else. Go with what we have the capabilities to do right now, and then we can start to move on to other things. If you don't have a partner or you, you're just not dating right now, then obviously this one's kind of out the window. But one, it's a good workout, it releases endorphins and it really other, it releases other happy hormones that allow you to feel so much better for your energy to just, uh, for your stress levels to just all the way down. Step number three is mastication. Don't get your mind dirty because you heard the last one, mastication. Now, mastication is chewing gum. Now, I'm a vegan, so I recommend to find some vegan gums. I, that's what I will always recommend. I'm not even sure if they do any. I haven't had chewing gum for a while, to be honest. But studies have been shown people who go into assessments that chew gum actually reduce the amount of stress. And there was also a study done in Japan. And people who... So the study in Japan that was done was saying people who chew gum at least twice a day had an overall higher well-being. Their levels of well-being were overall much higher. And also when they went into stressful tasks, their cortisol level dropped dramatically. 
just by chewing gum alone. So it's nothing that's actually in the gum, it's actually the action of masticating. As I said, don't get your dirty mind twisted because we just heard the number two. So obviously, keep yourself in check, my friend. But all seriousness, it's the art of actually <laughs> For you, that may have been really frustrating and maybe annoying. I don't know, but my point is masticate more. <laughs> and as I said, make sure you try and find some vegan gum because we don't need to hurt no whales till we chew some gum. Step number four, go outside in nature. All seriousness, we are one with nature. We are one with earth. We should be outside more. When, when it's summer, Notice that no one tends to get a cold. Why? Because we are physically outside. We are getting vitamin D. We are in the sun. We are getting fresh air. We are not clogged up in an office with the same air just repeating and repeating and repeating. So we need to get ourselves out in nature as much as possible. Reason when you go on holiday you feel so relaxed is yes, because you're away from the daily tasks, but also your feet are on the floor. You are literally grounded to the floor every single day. And when you are at one with nature, when you are just with nature in general, you're going to feel an overall higher sense of well-being. And right now, if you can't, just go out for a walk. If you can't spend nature every day, just go out for a walk. I can't, I work in an office. But today I went down the beach with the dog. We uh, in, enjoyed enjoyed some, um, some, some ball throwing and all stuff like that, but it was just the art of being in nature and just breathing outside. Like being outside, like straight away, that goes all the way up. Think about what's going on when you're stressed. Are you inside more? Are you going from job to shop to home, from home to shop to job? Are you doing that constantly? Are you actually getting yourself outside? And this is where getting an animal in itself, maybe initially it may bring on a lot of stress because animals, and they're not as easy, like a dog, for example. But long term, it's the action of actually going out to walk it. And this has been done with studies in, with depression looking after a dog if you don't have kids or anything like that looking after a dog is actually very helpful to um, your overall well-being and it also forces you to go out more so i recommend it and and for me it's it's it's, it's been a blessing because it's made me want to go to the beach more like i love the beach but in the winter i don't really like the beach um so when it gets, i'm there every day but it's made me want to go out more because i've got the dog and it's um, allowing me to go out more in nature and the fifth the final and the most important one of them all is meditation. When I say meditation, I use the word interchangeably with self-hypnosis, but it's merely just an act of self-reflection. That's all it really is. Sitting there in a state, of, in a meditative trance-like state and actually re realizing, why is this stressing me out? Questioning yourself, what, it, what is this actually doing to me? Why is this stressing me out? Is it something, a reflection of myself? Or is it a reflection of themselves? Because a lot of the time, when we feel stressed, reason is there's so much going on, we don't even know where to start. Now, we need somewhere to actually reduce that levels of stress. And imagine yourself like a pressure cooker. Over time, we just build up with pressure, we 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 build up with pressure, then we just explode with stress. What if you had a release valve on that Every time it built up with pressure, you could just release it slightly. Meditation is that release. Self-hypnosis is that release. Because what you are doing is you're getting those stressful levels in the day, which we can't necessarily avoid. And if you're starting off on this journey to reduce stress, it's not just going to happen like that. It's not. But what we can do is reduce it. And then over time, start adding in all these different things. Laugh more masticate, <laughs> get more intimacy, um, go out in nature and meditate. This is where you're going to, if you use all these five at once, pff, your day's gonna be incredible. Um, but all of these stuff are backed by science as well, which is which is amazing, and that's what I love about it. I believe this before I understood the science, because I was like, well, other than other than chewing gum, obviously, that, that one I, I generally didn't know when I found out about it, I was like, that's very interesting. But all of these ones, I kind of already knew, and you maybe already do know this. Maybe you just don't know how to do this. So if you want me to make a video more on how to meditate, drop it in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to do that. Laughter, um, I don't know. I hope I'm funny, I, I, I don't know. Um, may, maybe I'm not, but stand-up comedy is not my thing. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that. But hopefully um, you can find different ways to laugh more. You can watch funny films, find different films that do make you laugh. 
um, and really just just watch them. Get yourself to watch them. Um, get around people that like watch stand up comedy, stuff like that. There's loads of different things that we can do. And what you'll uh, begin to see is your general well being start to increase and your general stress levels start to decrease. When you stop doing them, stress is most likely going to go back up. It's just like every day. You work out, you go to the gym, you get big muscles. You stop working out, you stop going to the gym, your muscles deplete and they get smaller. Now, I've got clearly quite big muscles here. I looked at a picture of myself a few months ago, uh, a few, from a few years ago and I was like, oh, I was in such good shape, I need to get that back. But what it comes down to, it's completely irrelevant, but what it comes down to is really, are you doing things that are going to improve your overall well-being and decrease your stress? If not, something needs to change. When you change it, you change So with that being said, have an amazing day. Keep spreading love, kindness, and so much positivity. Yeah.